welcome to Photo Education Online. This is Larry Lurcy. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add lens flare to an image, but how to do it in a non-destructive way so that you can go back later and have some control over uh, modifying it or getting rid of it altogether without it being a permanent part of your image. Uh, I got this image right here. A very busy image already with the face and the music, but let's say just for the sake of argument that we want to add some lens flare to it. Here's what we would do. First, go up here to Filter, Render, Lens Flare. This menu is going to come up right here. I generally will leave mine somewhere in the 100 to 110 percent range, uh, and on the 550 to 300 zoom. Up here, you can move this around and decide where you want the lens flare coming from. In this case, I'm going to have it coming from wow, well, this little bank of lights right up here. Put it right there. Hit OK. There we go, there's our, our flare coming across there. Looks nice, but the problem with this, as you can see, if you look at our layer, is it's part of this image now. So if we go on and do other things, uh, it's been permanently added to this image. So what we're going to do is do Command-Z to make that go away. Control-Z on the PC. Then what we're going to do is add a new layer. So we're going to click right down here, New Layer. Come over here, come over here and uh, select the paint bucket. Make sure we've got black. Fill this whole layer with black. So we've got a layer of black on top of our image. Now what we're going to do is we're basically going to tell Photoshop to go back and redo that lens flare. And we're going to just do that by hitting Command F. There you go. Now it's put the lens flare here on a black screen. Unfortunately, we can't see our image. So here comes the cool part. While we've got this image selected, we go ahead and hit the blending mode here and change it to screen. There you go. Now we've got the exact same lens flare here, but it's on its own layer where we can turn it off and on. We can also take down the opacity if uh, we want it to be a little bit less or bring it all the way up to 100%. So we've got a lot more options here. Turn it off, turn it on. Uh, you can even mask away uh, if you didn't want certain parts of it. So you got a lot of options doing it on its own layer like this and it's really just uh, you know an extra step so it's not too big of a uh, time commitment to get this extra control. So that's basically it is doing it uh, over again on a black layer on top of the image and that gives us the uh, flexibility to turn it off and on or modify it however we want. Quick and easy. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know and I uh, hope to see you again soon for more videos.